This is from Southern Tier. This is their porter. Now, Southern Tier is the brewery I was talking about. They're in Lakewood. Now, this is going to. This looks a lot dark. Well, it is a lot darker than uh, than the uh, Scotch Ale was. But you'll notice it's not going to be. It's not going to have like the burnt Guinness flavor or anything like that. It'll it'll hold up to a lot of different flavorings added to it. Like at, right at the bar right now, we've got from Long Trail their coffee stout. You know, so that actually has coffee on it. You, you know what I think is so interesting about you know, what we're doing here, especially from the hospitality <laughs> end of it, that the more knowledge we have about things that we, products that we serve, not only beverages, but food, what have you, the better it is for you as a professional <laughs> to be able to <clears throat> provide the information you know, to your guests. The more knowledgeable you are, and the more open you are to suggestions and to recommendations for your, your, your guests or your customer, the better it is for you, and the better the reflection on uh, your establishment. Um, of course, we all have to be aware of the fact that you know, these are profit-driven products. You know, mm -hmm. They're not here just for our, our pleasure, but you know, this is profit-driven. Profit and if you're a, a, a server, and you can sell an additional bottle of wine, or you know, an additional round of drinks, specifically beer. What does that dictate? What, what does that translate to? Of course, it brings your guest check average up, doesn't it? There, therefore, it brings profit up for your for your owner. In addition to that, it also drives your tip. Your tip is based on you know all of that. So you know, this really, you know, this is a this is a great way to uh, become so much more knowledgeable about what we're serving. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm sure if people come into come into the bar and they'll say to you, you know. I'm, you know, I said it's a hot day. I'm really looking for something that's refreshing. Okay, what better way for him to establish credibility with his guests, but to, to recommend something? Not only did he did, he may not like it personally, but he knows that this individual is looking for something that you know is refreshing, is light, yet it's uh, uh, you know not, it doesn't have a lot of hops or whatever the case. So you know, I think you know going in to see a professional like him, or a, you know a wine wine sommelier is is key, and. Uh, you know, that's what our industry is about, hospitality in general. Uh, yeah, well, I just, the marketing aspect is very, uh, mm. is, it intrigues me the most. But, I, mean, my, I think of the bats now, I think of those two girls they're advertising <laughs> on TV. You know, Maybe I, next time we'll get them here. Yeah, you're right. But, you know, <laughs> so, you know, so, so, you we'll know, we'll see what the turnout's like then. Like, you, know, <laughs> you know, being a typical male, I'm like, oh, wow, I, I'm getting whatever the hell, I don't even know what the hell they're advertising. Yeah. I want those two girls to come over my beer. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think well. I don't think anybody's will ever see them. The uh, it's just you, you just have to realize that there's so much versatility with wine that beer just gets overlooked a lot. But there's a lot more versatility with beer because it's made with more ingredients. You know, wine you're you're pretty much stuck with a grape. Yeah, there's 50 different kinds of grapes, but with beer you've you've got all kinds of different ingredients you can put in it. Just like cooking, there's all kinds of different ingredients. So that makes beer a lot more versatile when you're trying to cook with it or match food to it. You know, there's, there could be a whole other course on beer cooking that I was, that I was thinking about. The, the one thing I found in a, I don't know if you guys ever had Pete's Wicked Ale. He, he, had, he had a lot of interesting things in here. He was into history, just, just like I am. And uh, he had something from World War II that I never heard of called Operation Depth Charge Fitment. Operation Depth Charge if you look at it, they took a Spitfire, which was the warp, which was the fighter plane at the time, and instead of instead of attaching bombs to it, they attached kegs to it, because D-Day plus one. If you've been being shot at all day, what you know, I think you could use a beer. They actually, <laughs> the day after D-Day, they didn't worry about getting more ammo in there. They worried about getting beer to these guys. Our our forefathers drank beer. Our forefathers brewed beer. Um, Benjamin Franklin has a has a really good recipe that um, I think it was two years ago. All the breweries, not all the breweries, a lot of breweries in the country got together and they replicated his recipe. It was called Poor Richard's Ale, and a lot of them came out with it. It was it was really good. George uh, George Washington had a beer recipe that wasn't as good as Franklin's, but he still had one. So there was beers. Beer's been around forever, basically. Do you have, anybody have any other questions? Oh, the, you know, the other thing, that he, he almost touched on it when he was talking about the Sumerians. The very first written laws 
the Code of Hammurabi. There is a law in there dictating how much tavern owners should charge for beer. There's no mention of wine in this law, but it, it, that was written in 2225 BC. That was way before Chardonnay. <laughs> so, you know, when, it, when we say beer has been around a long time, it really has been. There's written proof. The first written laws are talking about beer. And when you, when you think about it, you know, especially the Plymouth Rock uh, story, yeah. that, you know, <laughs> beer was so popular because water was unsafe to drink. Mm -hmm. You know, water wasn't uh, purified. I think that the ship's log actually said our, we, had, we, had to, we had to make ground early because our, our stores were, were short, especially our beer. Yeah. It's, it's the actual log from the book. 